Magla-live react tayo dito sa Sit Down with the Broadcast Media interview ni President Bongbong Marcos. Ayan. Just a little over a month ago, you granted former PMS Chief Naida Ang Ping's leave after she asked for personal time for herself and her family. Uy, Aida Ang What Ping. made you appoint her as ambassador to France considering she never held any diplomatic post before this and who will replace her? Well, uh, I need to use yes. this. Sir, okay, uh, okay, well, the situation with, with Secretary, then Secretary Naida, Ang Pin was that it was a personal decision in her part. Uh, she had some personal issues that she had to work through. And she said, I cannot do my work um, while I'm having to go through this. And that's why I need to, I need to um, go and think about it. And she came back and she said, maybe I can just uh, find a, a, um, uh, something that, will not, uh, uh, that, that I will be able to handle. And I said, what do you think? And she said, uh, if you could appoint me to a diplomatic position. Uh, she has not held formally a diplomatic position, but she has been working with the Foreign Service for years and years and years. And she worked in, that, in the American Embassy, uh, the Philippine Embassy in the United States. She worked in, uh, uh, she worked in well, China. She worked in all of the areas that, uh, uh, that we were slowly opening up. So, sana isa sa trabaho yan. And, uh, and she has uh, said that she, and she has already, she had for years now been working on her foreign service uh, classific uh, exam. So, I think that's what she's going to plan to do now. Yun talagang gusto niyang gawin since before. So, mm -hmm. now we'll formalize her wishes. Mm -hmm. So, but, but again, the, the, the reasons for it are, are personal. So, I don't think it's my place to, uh, to, to talk about that. You know, she, it is her choice. Okay. Napaka-controversial nung kay Naida Ang Ping na yan. In case lang, baka ako nakalimutan na natin, naalala niyo yung Thailand incident? Yung meron daw, ano, yung meron daw ng hipo. Uh, ito yun. <laughs> ito yun, napaka-controversial nito. Uh, I'm not here, I won't speculate kung bakit uh, nagpa-appoint siya as a DFA. What, uh, PBBM already spoke about it. Kung, kung si PBBM, it's not his place, di ba? Who are we to speculate? So, I mean, but it's a very, very controversial ano, uh, situation in the past. And not so, not so, uh, not so forgotten past. So, tuloy natin. Like what I've said, possessions in your administration. Mm -hmm. Isa pa lang, sir. Pero ito na. Kasa, pahabol nun sa first. Okay. About Erwin Tulfo, um, it was reported ah, si that Erwin. you're going to appoint him as one of your presidential advisors. If so, on what? No, that's not been, that's really not been part of the plan for Erwin. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, no, he, we, we had other plans for him. Uh, not not as a presidential advisor, but he would still be part of your administration. I hope so. I hope so. You you because whatever we say, uh, difficulties that he faced with the uh, uh, commit the committee on appointments and the CA, uh, he the time that he was running the DSWD, he did a very good job. Agree. So we can't lose that kind of uh, that kind of asset. So we'll find something that he can do, so we can take advantage of his. Uh, of his uh, good instincts when it comes to social service. Sana. Kamakailan po naglabas ng video si First Lady Lisa? Tungkol sa, naglabas siya ng warning sa mga taong gumagamit daw ng kanyang pangalan para ma-appoint. Apparently, yeah. it had something to do with appointments at the AFP. At sinabi niya, pag ginawa niyo yan, sasabihin ko sa asawa ko, huwag kayong i-appoint. My question, Mr. President, is how involved is the First Lady in your decisions with regard to appointments and in your governance in general? Zero. Uh, she really has no. She really has no input on that. The, the, my, the first lady helps me in terms of re, the organization because she's actually very, very good at that. Organizing which uh, office, how the office, how the workflow goes, where the documents go through. She's well. She's a well-trained lawyer, so she's very good at that. And. Uh, so, but that's that's the extent of it. We don't talk about, uh, we don't talk policies together. I mean, she'll, she'll comment. Mm -hmm. 
generally say that you know uh, that looks good, that doesn't look good. I don't know why you're doing that. Uh, that's fine. That's what a great idea. But that's it. Uh, Do you consult her in difficult decisions? Not political, <laughs> not political decision. Legal. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, then legal. I will ask her. Siempre, I, will ask, I will ask whenever there's a legal question. I'm not a lawyer, so I need an expert uh, opinion. She's right next to me most of the time, so I can turn to her. I can turn to. I am very lucky, actually. I I I think I have the best the legal representation of uh, any president. I have a former chief justice as my. Uh, Executive Secretary. Secretary. I have uh, JPE, Indeed. who is uh, working as a legal advisor to the president. And between uh, between all of these experts and luminary legal luminaries, uh, that's when that's the only time that uh, uh, that that the discussion inc may include Lisa. But she's not. She doesn't come to the office and sit with us at all. Mm -hmm. If I have something to ask, it's usually definitions. Define to me what is the legal what is the legal definition of this? What is the legal definition of that? When they talk about this, what, they, what do they mean? What's the legal concept behind that? It's usually, that's the kind of question. Because she's a teacher. So mm -hmm. that's the kind of question I ask her. Okay, so kung kayo po ay nasa US, UK, Canada, Italy, France, Spain, at Ireland, gamitin nyo na po ang send waves sa inyo pong mga remittance needs. Dahil kapag nagpadala po kayo through Sendwave, wala po yung fees. Wala po yung remittance fees, mga kakodjero. Kaya yun, no? gagawin nyo lang, i-download nyo lang ang Sendwave app sa Apple App Store at sa Google Play. At uh, i-rehistro nyo ang inyong uh, account details at pwede nyo pwede na kayo magpadala. Sa inyong mga minamahal sa buhay sa pamamagitan ng Gcash, uh, cash pickup, cash pickup sa iba't ibang pawn shops, at iba't ibang mga banko sa Pilipinas. At kung gagamitin nyo po nga yung promo code na Coach Jared, ay makakakuha pa kayo ng inyong ng $10 free credit sa inyong unang padala. So uh, huwag nyo pong kalimutan gamitin ng Sendwave. Once again, kung kayo po ay nasa US, UK, Canada, Italy, France, Spain, Ireland, and Belgium.